there are six potential x-intercept behaviors for polynomials. We'll need the polynomial sign chart and the multiplicity of each x-intercept to pick the appropriate behaviors. Let's start with this polynomial and replace it with its fully factored form. To find the x-intercepts, we set each factor of f of x equal to 0 and solve for x. Negative 5, negative 3, 0, 3, and 5 all make a factor of f of x equals 0, and so these are points where f of x crosses the x-axis, our x-intercepts. These five x-intercepts subdivide the x-axis into six different ranges. We pick a test point from each range and then plug them into f of x to get these values here. The sign of these values is what matters the most. The sign of these values tells us the sign of f of x within each of these ranges. Our function is above the x-axis in ranges that have a positive symbol. Our function is below the x-axis in ranges that have a negative symbol. The polynomial sign chart is done. The multiplicity for each x-intercept is the power of the factor associated with each x-intercept in f of x. If the multiplicity is 1, then our function crosses the x-intercept as a straight line. If the multiplicity is even, then our function touches the x-axis and returns in the direction it came from. If the multiplicity is odd, the function sort of flattens out around the x-intercept, but f of x does have a different sign on either side of the x-intercept. Looking at the powers of each factor, we can determine the multiplicity of each x-intercept. The x-intercept at x equals negative 5 and x equals 3 has a multiplicity of 1 because its factor has a power of 1. The x-intercept at x equals 0 and x equals 5 is 2, which is even. The x-intercept at x equals negative 3 has a multiplicity of 3, which is odd. The multiplicity of each x-intercept is known. Let's focus on the behavior of the x-intercepts as we graph our function. Starting from the left, we know our function will start off below the x-axis due to the sign chart being negative here. At x equals negative 5, our multiplicity is 1, so we cross the x-axis like a straight line. At x equals negative 3, our multiplicity is odd, so we sort of flatten out but cross the x-axis. At x equals 0, our multiplicity is even, so we kiss the x-axis and return in the same direction. At x equals 3, our multiplicity is 1, so we cross the x-axis like a straight line. At x equals 5, our multiplicity is even, so we kiss the x-axis and return in the same direction. For more help in graphing polynomials, check out the linked video.